Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of using enums in your C++ code. Enum is short for enumeration. An enum, simply put, is a set of values which you can use in your C++ code. Enums are used to assign names to integral constants. This makes your program easier to read and maintain. To illustrate just what enums can do for your code, we'll build a simple program that asks to check on a user's status. So we'll start by building our basic C++ script. We'll include iostream and make sure that we're using the standard namespace. Because we are using enums, we'll want the user to only be able to enter one of three statuses. These statuses will be offline, online, or AFK. So we'll start by printing out to the user, enter zero for offline, one for online, and two, or two, for AFK, and AFK stands for away from keyboard. Now we'll want to take in an integer from the user, which will be either zero, one, or two. But in order to set this integer, we'll have it set to negative one with the uh, assumption that the user will enter either 0, 1, or 2 and change this integer to a corresponding integer to one of our enum. So then we'll take in this i variable from the user, which will hopefully just either be a 0, 1, or 2. And here's where we declare our enum, which acts like a class or, or an array um, with the caveat that the enum allows us to assign names to integral constants. So to do this, the syntax is enum, and then we'll call this enum status. And then within brackets, we'll have our three different states offline, online, and AFK. So another important place where we see enums used in code is in switch case statements, where all the values or cases can be defined as enums. So this way we can ensure the user is not entering invalid states. We can also cycle through the different cases so in order to set this up, we'll set up a switch case that takes in this user defined variable of i. The first one will be our offline case, which will see out user is offline to the user, and we'll end that line. Next, we'll have our online case, which we'll see out user is online, and then we'll break. And lastly, we'll have our AFK case, which we'll see out user is AFK. And then we'll break and default in the case that a user enters a number that is outside of our 0, 1, or 2 range, we will see out invalid selection and make sure to break.
Now we'll compile our code. Missing a semicolon right there. And we'll compile the code. And it compiles, and now when we run enum, we're asked to enter zero for offline, one for online, or two for AFK. Let's say the user is AFK. We'll enter two, user is AFK, our program works as described. And now we can see that enums are used when we expect the variable to have one of the possible set of values. So if we try to assign more than one random val value to a variable, it will throw a compilation error. Uh, enums are incredibly useful for maintaining the readability of your code, um, especially in cases like this where you don't want to use booleans to navigate between statuses um, or states, um, and you can provide your code with more than two states uh, we could have offline, online, AFK, we could have as many states or statuses within our enum as our code needs. Uh, so now we understand the necessity of enums in our code, and I hope that this video was helpful in illustrating that for you. Thank you for watching.